is up guys welcome back to brick age studios and today guys it is christmas eve the final and last day before the 25th so to celebrate let's go ahead and open up the final day of the lego star wars 2016 advent calendar the countdown to christmas is almost officially over guys so let's go ahead and dive in and see what we have to wrap things up for this year's calendar and we have snowbaka awesome so here is Snowbaka, and personally, guys, I love this minifigure. I mean, I think he was a really cool choice in general, because in the past, we've always received, like, Yoda Santa, or Darth Maul Santa, or Darth Vader Santa, so it's nice to see something different with this year's festive minifigure. And it is basically just a recoloring of the normal Wookiee minifigure, but still, love how this came out. As you can see, he has the ammo packs on the front of his body, and those are colored green and red. That is hilarious and awesome. Uh, that does continue onto the back, which is very nice. And other than that, it's really just uh, a white Chewbacca minifigure. So, really simple, but I love how it came out. Uh, and this is definitely going to be a great addition to my collection. Also, uh, he comes with this bowcaster, which, uh, the stud shooter bowcaster, which... I'm pretty sure is only in one other set, and that is the Force Awakens Millennium Falcon, which is $150, so it's great to get this in a cheaper way. Uh, it does look a bit ridiculous, but at the same time, it's a very cool piece to get, uh, because you can, in fact, fire off a stud. Sorry about that, guys. I had to uh, reload the stud shooter bowcaster, so let's go ahead and do this. Take two. There we go. I mean, if you guys are LEGO Star Wars fans, you've already seen that feature, but still just wanted to show it off. And uh, then, I'm not sure why they did this, but uh, they included these two random plants. So, uh, I guess that's cool. It doesn't make much sense, but sure, why not? Um, but yeah, guys, that is Snowbaka. Awesome minifigure. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for the LEGO Star Wars 2016 Advent Calendar. Very satisfied with this year's builds and minifigures, mainly because there were just a lot of good inclusions. For example, you've got the Bespin Wingard, who is a really hard-to-find minifigure in general, uh, Luke Skywalker in his Jedi Knight attire, TC-14, Snowbaka, and then also some really cool builds like Jabba's Palace, the Gonk Droid, Slave 1. So yeah, I'd probably have to go ahead and say that this is my favorite Advent Calendar to date. They really just keep getting better and better every year, so hopefully LEGO will continue that streak. But uh, be sure to stay tuned on my channel, guys, because we are less than 24 hours away in counting from Christmas. I will be doing a big Christmas haul for you guys, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys enjoyed this video and this series of me opening up the LEGO Star Wars 2016 Advent Calendar, please take a second, hit that like button. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel because I upload videos every day, LEGO news, LEGO reviews, and more, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.